After being exposed to asbestos in the company's talc-based products, there are thousands of cases claiming those products can cause ovarian cancer. Brady, Fox News Radio. From the WVOX News Center, I'm Lisa Rodman. A man is accused of sexually assaulting a woman near a White Plains train station. Police have arrested 23-year-old Carlos Palti. Lay's reputation. And that's my... All right. D'Angelo, ball's turn. Sorry for stealing from the stores in China. Uh, I didn't exercise my best judgment, and I was wrong for that. I apologize to my family, my coaches, my teammates, and UCLA for letting so many people down. I also apologize to the people of China for calling. We ask the people of this country who are struggling, give us a chance to make good by you. Give us a chance to make life better for you. Give us a chance to improve your life. This conference today did one of the greatest things we could possibly do to make good on that promise, and I'm so proud. Right now, I just want to thank one of the women of our leaders of our Congress. Oz originally from Guinea and staying at this apartment in the Bronx while he and his uncle open a restaurant downtown. It's under construction and he had contractors and rent to pay. That's why all that cash. He says the robbers had a gun, but one of them put him in a headlock and squeezed hard. <laughs> important to the members to have that five consistent day paycheck. The bus company's president in a statement said they were not told by the union about the strikes. That's what Franken said. For a better, really awesome. You are flavorful. And we salute you with the sandwiches. Try the buffalo bacon sandwich from McDonald's. Some spicy buffalo sauce paired with creamy blue cheese sauce and applewood smoked bacon. Only at participate. Yes, I'm, I'm certain for... 700,000 people pour in every... In Agra. In generic... Right. Hypothermic is the train in northern Italy. Now, this is world new. Placed rest. We got lots to talk about, including uh, the investment outlook, uh, what uh, investors in terms of different options that are out there, and of course, we're going to talk about tax overhaul. Yeah, let's bring in uh, Michael Keyes, our economics and policy editor with us, and Tim Wilson, who's also a stock center with us. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, uh, talk to me about uh, what we're hearing out of the, out of the House here. This, uh, is this, is this going to be dead on arrival when it gets to the Senate, or is, is this just the beginning of a negotiation? It is essentially dead. Um, I'm reminded of Mark Antony. Uh, I come not to praise, but to bury. Uh, in this case, the House bill does not meet the deficit requirements uh, the Senate is operating under, under the reconciliation method that they are using.